Art Cadets, it's Friday and time for another video. Today I thought we'd draw some characters from the Stork movie because we went to see the film recently and the characters are really cute and I thought we'd have some fun doing that. So if you've got your pens and your pencils ready, let's go. So we're going to start first of all by drawing Tulip. Now I thought we'd do them all on the same sheet of paper and using the simple shapes techniques that we looked at in one of the previous videos we are going to be able to hopefully do it quite simply. So I've got my pencil here and first of all at the top of the page I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm at a funny angle again so you can make sure yours is really nice and neat and I'm also using a pencil that although it's coloured can rub out so you can use a normal pencil so hopefully you can see that now what I'm going to do is just draw a light line down the middle and across so it looks a bit like a window but we're going to use those lines to place our eyes and then the rest of the features will fall into place so they're in the right place. Okay, so before we do any more detail to Tulip, I'm also going to do um, another shape for Junior, who is the stork in the film. And this is to make sure that we fit them all in on the same page. So in about the middle of your page, I'll just move that up a bit so you can see, I'm going to draw, this is more of um, a square actually. That sort of shape. Okay, so it's smaller than the first one. And this is going to be Junior. Now similarly, like we did with the last one, I'm going to draw a line down the middle and halfway draw another line across that way. Now Junior being a stork has quite a long neck so I'm also going to give us enough room draw uh, a bit of his neck there, so I'm going to do a little bit more there before we come down to the bottom of the page and we do another square and notice I've all drawn them this, um, fairly the same width and so we're going to do a last square down here and this is for the baby. And again we're going to do a line down the middle. Now the line across the bottom wants to be a bit more, a bit lower because on baby's features in cartoons their eyes are quite big and they're a little bit lower down so it's not quite halfway it's a bit lower. Okay so we've got those in place and that will ensure that we fit everything on our page. So back to the top again we can do a little bit more to tulip. So she has got quite big eyes, we're going to start off with her eyes. So on this line that we've done in the middle, I'm going to draw a round eye shape, like that, and you can do one on the other side the same, try and get them about the same size. And these are just sort of guidelines to start with before we go and colour anything in or make anything super neat. We're just going to make sure that we've got all our proportions right. Okay, so now we're going to draw a line in between these two, about halfway, so about there, just lightly, and her nose is going to sit on the top of this. Now Tulip has quite a little round or oval nose, and we're going to put it about there. Now, in between the nose and the chin, we're going to put her mouth. Okay, so that's kind of this sort of shape, a bit like a wonky sausage. <laughs> right, so it's a bit like that. And we're going to put in some teeth. Just do that like that. And on the bottom row of teeth, 
can't quite see them all so clearly. We'll just do a little line like that. All right, so, so far so good. Now before we start with her wild um, curly hair, we are gonna do some eyebrows. So just draw a line for her eyebrows and they curve up a little bit at the top. And the same on the other side. And with cartoons, they generally have thicker eyebrows. So I'm gonna do them a bit like that. Following the shape of her eye. Okay, so let's finish off doing her eyes then. So inside, we're gonna do another circle inside the other circle. Okay, and inside that, a little bit bigger, we are gonna do the pupil. Now before we do the pupil, which is the black piece of the eye, I'm gonna draw a little circle off to the side, which we're gonna leave white, okay? So that will show reflection in the eye. And then we're just gonna do that other little circle, which we're gonna color in. And we'll do it black when we're finishing it neatly, but just to show you that it then shows a little bit of light in the eye. She's also got a darker area around here, which is her eyebrows. No, it's not, it's her eyelashes. I knew I'd get it wrong. Eyebrows, they're her eyebrows. They're her eyelashes. I'll be quiet now. Okay, so on either side, we're gonna darken up that area there. And again, we can make these black later on when we color it in. Okay, so her face and her expression's kind of getting there. We're just gonna now draw in at the top of our square, a little bit indication of a tuft of hair there, which I've just done as a curly ball-ish. And we're gonna put her some ears in. Now her ears, I'm gonna do where this middle line is, and just do it as a C shape like this and a backward C shape. Her neck on the bottom line like that and we are going to do for her hair, I think she's got her hair in a ponytail so I'm just going to draw like a, almost a triangle shape here and the same the other side coming out from the side so she's got two triangle shapes and then we're going to draw those shapes, join them together with a sort of a rainbow shape like this. Okay. Last of all, with our hair, we're going to go out from each ear and we're going to indicate really curly hair. Can you see this right at the top of the page? And the same on this side. Like that. Now, she's looking a bit square, so what we are gonna do before we outline her is to curve off some of these square edges, okay? Because they were good for guidelines, but her face isn't that square. So we're gonna just round those off so that she has a nice round shaped face. And that just means cutting the corners off like that. And the same up here. Okay, I'm also going to make her mouth a little bit narrower at the ends. So it's not as thick as I've done it. we have it there's tulip so before we outline her we are going to go on and draw junior the stalk now we've started off by drawing a sort of square rectangle shape here and the first thing we're going to do is draw a little dent in the top so a little triangle in the top there okay then we are going to draw his eyes and his beak. Now before we do his eyes, I think we'll do his beak. So if from the middle, we are just gonna draw a curve. 
curve, kind of following that middle line there that comes up, over, and curves back down again. And that's the top of his beak. We're then going to draw another line. I'm going to draw two little dots here so you can see where I'm going from. Not quite the corner, but we are going to do another line and it's going to go down almost to the bottom. And you can see those three dots I've drawn. Now we're just going to join them up. Like that, and there's his beak shape. That's good. And then we are going to go from the outside of the square, we're going to draw a little shape that's so not quite straight again. Just follow what I'm doing. And his bottom of his um, beak will be coming down under here. So it's under the line we've drawn and meeting up at the other side. Like that. Okay. If you need more time you can pause the video and catch up or go back if you didn't get it and play it again. So from the dot we drew up here we are just going to go straight down like this on either side and then we are going to leave a triangle here which will give the impression that he's kind of got his beak. See that? Over, almost like over his lip, because he's got a funny look on his face, hasn't he? And in this gap here, we are going to draw his teeth. So we're going to do another little triangle, like this, like that. And then his teeth are going to be in here. Now, some of the videos I've watched that draw stalks they've done in um, speed drawing, so they've done it in fast time which I think is really hard for younger people to follow so I've hopefully made it a bit more um, doable for you and you can as I say um, pause the video if you want to replay any of it. Now for Junior's eyes I've just started to draw a round shape but I haven't done a complete circle, okay, because I'm going to do, just going to skim the top of his beak there on this side and the same on this side. And for the top, it's almost more of a an angled line. Again, I'm at a funny angle, but I think you can see what I mean. Like that. And his eyes, again, are circles and they're not touching any other part of the eye, so we're just going to draw them like that, in the middle, towards his, the centre of his nose. And again, we're going to draw a little circle which is going to be our reflection, try and draw it on the same area in each eye, before we draw his pupil, which will be the black bit of his eye, leaving that little white bit out. Now, he again looks quite square, doesn't he? So, like we did for Tulip, we are just going to go and round off the edges a little bit. And we're going to use that dip that we drew to join up over there, look. can rub out some of the, the square lines, so like this one here, and you'll get to see that he's looking pretty good now. We're just going to do a little mark there and there for his nose, and we can do um, the indication of some wings there, but he has got quite a long neck, so you don't need to do those if you don't want to. Right, moving on to the baby then, before we outline and colour in, 
Now the baby's got very definitely a round face, but I thought we'd use a square again just because it's easier to um, just round off the edges to get our baby shape. And also, the baby does have kind of um, a straight edge down the side of each face. So like I'm doing here, we're, we're just going to create that sort of baby round face by rounding off the corners, and we'll do that first. And that helps us to create this sort of shape for her face. So here we need to go just a little bit over the square and the same on the bottom. Okay, you can spend a bit more time on yours. So we've got a sort of a baby shaped face there. And on the line again, like we did with the other two, we are going to draw the eyes. Now on the baby's eyes, they're a bit further apart, so we're going to make sure that we leave a little bit more of a gap in between her eyes and her nose. Okay, so that's a roundish eye shape. I'm just going to rub out a little bit more space. They look even. That one looks a bit bigger. But like I say, you can spend a bit more time on yours. And her nose is going to be kind of very near the centre. I'm not going to draw a midline here again. I'm just going to do it kind of a little bit higher up than we did for Tulip. Like that. And it's sort of a little oval shape. Okay. We can do some eyebrows. Again, following the line, the shape of the eye. And here again. And last of all, her mouth. Now she's got a dear little shaped mouth, which is kind of goes. Got an uppy bit in the middle. And it's a technical term like that. So down, up, down, and then just a smooth. U shape for the bottom. Okay, we'll show her little tongue in there and perhaps give her some lips which we'll detail a bit more when we colour it in or when we outline it, okay? Because this bit in here is going to be dark. Now, baby also needs some ears and they're just little C shapes on the side where that midline is. Okay, so her hair. She has got pink hair. I'm just going to do kind of like a little quiff at the front. Like this. And follow it round the head like that. Okay. Uh, we haven't done her eyes. So like we did with the others, we do the eyeballs. Um, the irises in there and leaving a little white circle which will be the light reflection and her pupil which we're going to colour in black okay she has also got some little eyelashes on the side of her eye like that okay I also think it'd be quite nice if we do a little circle here for our hand and the same the other side. It's more of an oval actually. But you don't have to do these bits if you don't want to. Just because in a lot of the pictures we see her in she has got her hands up by her face. Okay. A little thumb. And No, that's too many. I'm going to give her six fingers there. There we go. And she's got her hand curled over like that on that side, and then on this side, she's going to have her thumb sticking out and her fists curled over like babies do. A 
bit like that. There we go. So once you've done that, you can go over with your black thin felt tip like this, outline them and then you can rub out all your guidelines and you'll be left with the pictures ready to colour in. There we go, so now we've outlined everything with our black fine liner, we can go in and rub out the pencil marks we've made underneath. And now we're ready to colour them in. I'm going to fast forward this bit so you haven't got to wait for me to colour them all in. And if you want to see the colours I've used, then you can see at the end of the video. And you can use any felt tips or crayons you like. So there we are, we've coloured them all in and I'm just going to do a few little finishing touches which I'm going to tell you about so you can add them into your pictures if you want. Um, the first one is to add some curly looking effects to Tulip's hair because she's got a mass of curls. So I'm just going to go over where I did my original felt tip and add a bit more of the same colour give her a curly effect. And a few little freckles. She's got freckles. Like that. And then on the next one I have added some um, of a darker colour onto his beak. And I'm just going to add a little bit of pencil in to emphasise round his eyes so they look like they're in the socket rather than just flat. And that I can, you can do on all of them actually. That's all for today Art Cadets, I hope you've had fun and you've been able to follow along and draw some of the fun characters from the Stork movie. If you have, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below and join us next week where we will be getting messy with finger paints so you will need some finger paints or some regular paints, your fingers, some paper and if you have any, some of these which are wiggly eyes which we're going to used to add to our drawings. They're only about a pound from the pound shop so if you've got some of those that will be fab. Um, if not don't worry you can still join us and we'll see you next week. Okay bye!